Thank you everyone for tuning into this week's video. If you've been enjoying my channel, please hit the subscribe button in the corner there to keep up to date with all the weekly content. On last week's podcast, we were talking about strength. So I thought I'd give you guys three tips so you can tell that your workout is working and you're getting stronger. I think this falls in nicely with my weekly tip of last week as well about progression. As often after the first few weeks where you get a really quick acceleration of progress, this tends to slow down for everyone and then it can be quite hard to see what progress you are making. So the first one is the weight has gone up on an exercise that you're doing. That's the most obvious one. It's the one we all look towards. So the thing I wanted to mention about this is you don't have to always be working in the typical strength rep zones of five reps or more in order to be getting stronger. If you've lifted eight reps one week and then the next week you lift eight reps at a higher weight, you've got stronger. Okay, so there's these zones that we talk about, endurance for reps above 12, hypertrophy or muscle building uh, for reps around eight to 10 and five and below is strength. If your weight's going up on any of the rep ranges, you have got stronger. Like I said, this is an obvious point, but the reason I mention it is because A, it's the, it's the truest one, one of the truest ones you can, and easiest ones you can monitor. And that's the key to it, is monitoring it. What we want you to do is track your progress. You'd be amazed how easy it is to lose track of what weight you did last week, last month, when coming back to an exercise, especially if you've not been doing that exercise week by week. If you've been if you've taken out of your program for a month and put it back in, if you haven't written it down, it's, it's a bit like, oh, girl, what did I do? And then you may be starting all over again. So track your progress so you know what weights you've been lifting and how much you've been progressing. Number two is increased repetitions. So this came up on the post last week, the weekly tips of uh, six ways to progress your workouts. One of them was to increase your reps. Again, this sounds obvious, but... People are so sometimes fixated on building the weight up, building the weight up, that's how we're getting stronger. That Sometimes we hit a point where the weight can't go up and maintain the same rep. So you might be doing eight on a weight, you go up the next week, but you can't do eight, you can do six. But hey, actually, I can now do 10 on the previous weight. You've got stronger if that's the case, okay? So you don't always have to put the weight up. If the reps have improved on the same reps, your endurance has gone up, absolutely but you have got stronger, I promise you. So remember what reps you've done. The only way to do that is if you track your progress. The third way to tell if you're continuing to progress is if the repetitions feel easier. What I mean by that is, is that the reps you're doing at a certain weight for a certain rep range feel easier to maintain, or the technique feels easier to maintain through the eight reps, where you, whereas you might have been struggling and twisting or doing something just to get the weight up the previous week. Going on to the, from the last point, point two, weight increases and rep increases will slow down for everybody. We've talked about this before in our podcast and the previous posts that eventually that initial gain of strength will start to slow and plateau. That is completely normal. It happens to everyone. That's why it's so important to understand that there's more than just one or two ways to tell that you're getting stronger. And how well you move a weight or how well you move in an exercise, let's say a squat, for example, under a certain load is also a really, really good tell of whether you're continuing to get stronger. Don't forget, guys, as always, the only way you can tell if, you, if you're looking back at the previous things that you've done is to track your progress. You don't always have to write reps and weights. You can make little notes like it felt a little easier that week. Did 10, same week, no progress on reps or weight, but held the technique for much longer. These little things help you remember what you did previously and how far you've progressed. Sometimes week by week, it's really hard to tell, but if you look back six weeks, you would have gone, hey, I've progressed loads. If you did that program six weeks ago now, it'll feel easy because of the progressions. So don't forget guys, track your progress. On a side note guys, you're not gonna get to this point that we're talking about unless you're consistent with your training. So stay consistent, make the progressions that we talked about in last week's post and track your progress. That's it from me, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you've been enjoying the content. If yes, like I said, hit subscribe.